Man arrested for killing his aunt and trying to bury her body in the backyard? Let's get into it. In a quiet Aubrey neighborhood, a cross and a candle now join Halloween decorations outside the home of Mary Jacinto. Police say the 71 year old was murdered by her nephew, 24 year old Adrian Padilla, who was angry his aunt was kicking him out of the house. Monday evening, Jacinto's sister called Aubrey police for a welfare check. A family member had reported to us that they had not been able to get a hold of the victim uh, for several hours and they were a very tight-knit family. Officers noticed Padilla was in the backyard. Police say he refused to cooperate and ran inside the home. And the officers pur pursued him over the fence to the back door and were able to re-engage him again and talked him into surrendering to them. Once Padilla was detained, officers searched the home and found a shovel in a bedroom with fresh dirt and bleach bottles. Detectives also noticed multiple large kitchen knives with blood on them in the sink. And then Mary Jacinto's body was found in the backyard, wrapped in blankets under a pile of dirt. Police noticed stab wounds to her stomach and her feet. He had told them that he had um, injured her in self-defense. That's the story Aubrey Police Chief Richard Brooks says Padilla told his investigators. Police say he admitted everything, stating he and his aunt were arguing Sunday evening about where he was going to live. Padilla claimed Jacinto threatened him with a knife, so he assaulted her, moved her to a bedroom, and then stabbed her two times in the stomach. He admitted he attacked her again after taking a nap, then wrapped her in a blanket drug her to the backyard and tried to clean up the evidence. To hear the news and then to read what happened in this world. George Rangel is a longtime friend who worked with Jacinto. She was a teacher assistant at Dallas ISD for more than 30 years, but retired a few years ago. The impact that this lady had, not only uh, to the family, but to her work and to her coworkers is you know, there's no words, really. She was just, it, it's a terrible loss. It's a terrible loss, but he was one of a kind. And Heather and Steve, when we were out. This is a sick guy, premeditated. Look what he's trying to do, bury his aunt in the backyard, lock him away, throw away the keys. We don't want him back outside because, listen, if he's going to do this to his family member, imagine what he would do to a friend or somebody he doesn't know. Let me know what you guys think.